I'm glad you're home. Are you? No, you just broke a plate and my jaw. Another Alex Kurtzman movie. We haven't oh. watched one on the channel since what? Tom Cruise's The Mummy? Over a year ago, at the end of the Monsterthon. Well, not the end anymore. Well, the original end. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and look up what the true events are. I bet they're real good. Alex Kurtzman once thought this would make a cool true story. 2% of your wholesale cost? What happens when they dump 100,000 P30s to every discount chain? This oh, there's people in this. Yeah, yeah there Chris are. Chris Pine's right there. Besides Pine. Yep. Don't say anything, I want to know. Okay. Oh, he's leaving. Uh-huh. Okay. I closed Lincoln Tire. Chef! <laughs> That's how I knew. That's the thing I knew. I, I've seen a lot of this man's face. This guy just can't get out of our dealer's choices, can he? Oh, we should just rename man. it Favreau's Choice. <laughs> dealer's Favreau. Boxes of the soup in an unrefrigerated no, train car. No, Jim, it, they were cans. No, I they... fought the train with Denzel. I won, okay? I get broke my, my foot for that train. Goddamn right. That is the last it's time. It's fucking molten, okay, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking molten, you asshole. Chef and train fighter are who we watch right now. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> so all the good co-hosts have recommended Favreau movies. And Mud, you gotta step up. Where's your John Favreau movie? Bitch. I think I know what to recommend. Oh, no. My two ex-wives need my son in rehab needs, which is why you need... It's Sofia Vergara and fucking Scarlett Johansson. This, yeah. is the, this is later in life. It feels like a later in life chef. It's the same year as chef. People like Alex Kurtzman. No, they don't. No, the fuck they don't. <laughs> Zero people. No, people who work with him like him. The man. Yeah, they don't want to get fired. There's no information about what it's based on. Are there still seats available? No, that, that... And when does that leave? That was actually pretty good. That was some show don't tell if he really doesn't want to fucking go. I love the two consecutive shots of covering food. One was not enough. Mom, this is uh, Hannah. No, that's Olivia Wilde. He's going to actually start missing his dad or he's going to start rem remembering why he hates his dad so much and didn't want to go. He also has on Converse All-Stars Vintage 2004. He doesn't look like how you described him. I imagine this cold Mr. Frost guy. Looks more like R.J. McCready from The Thing. Oh, uh, don't, don't, don't uncover that. Look at that wood-paneled SUV next to it. No, oh, that's, that's lame. Get the wood-paneled SUV. And the money? What about the money? Money you could probably sell them for a lot. Sell the vinyl collection. That shit's probably worth thousands. Worth more than his estate, probably. No, I didn't know that. He left a fully poured martini on the table. Listen, kid, if you don't understand day drinking, I can't be with you. <laughs> but you should finish your day drinking. He didn't even day drink himself. <laughs> There's an art form to it. Sometimes you don't drink at all. Sometimes you order it, you pay for it, and you That's walk a away. Oh, fucking laugh. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> not one sip. Oh, cool. Thanks, Dad. Holy Christ. Thanks, Dad. That's the best present of all time. Dear son, this is all Monopoly money. Fuck you. It's not even for him. That's so funny. Now, if this is going to follow filmmaking at all, it's going to eventually explode after people don't think it will. I told you. Ah, wow. How did I know that? Oh, it's her. Elizabeth Banks? No. Yes. Yes. Charlie's Angels. That's the one thing I got it from. That is Chris yep. Pine's sister in this. What? Not in real life. Oh, it's Sis Pine. Please. I, I know. It's my fault. You are right to think that. He blew up a pool. Yeah. Is the pool still intact? No. No. The, the diving board blew up. Oh. Okay, yeah, that matters. Damaged school property. It's like thousands With of dollars like of damage. A bomb. He also stole something to make a bomb. Is that the only explosive material you leave lying around for students to play with? Your son's still the one who put the sodium in the water. Ah, but she's lawyering the fuck out of her. Stupid logic. That's what lawyers use, and they get off sometimes, and also win cases. This is serious. I mean, why couldn't you shoplift or trespass? Why couldn't you just do heroin like a normal junkie? She wants you to fill out some workbook for your anger. No way, Carol. Yes, way. I'm not like, doing fuck. it, Carol. They argue like adults. That's yeah. weird. As... No way the kid would be like, I don't want to. Yeah, like, he Carol. Actually... He are you kidding me? My mom would have rained hell if I called her Gail. He wants to know why he has to give hundreds of thousands of dollars to some dumbass kid who blows up pools. Did I reveal a twist? Because I just looked at her cast. I think he'd reveal the twist. Fuck. No. Sorry, guys. No, 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 no. Come on! You gotta yell a light for Christ's sake. Go! Come 
That was the fastest red light. Lightning fast. He's in a very noticeable car to tail someone in. Yeah, hi. Um, hi, Frankie, alcoholic. My kid blew up a pool. I really need a drink. Look at him figuring it out. Yeah. Sorry I didn't let you guys figure that out with the movie. Wait, they're related? In uh, Tarzana and uh, then uh, Culver City. And... Is he not going to tell her that they're related? Nope. Why would he do that? Oh my then we God. wouldn't have a movie. A regular human would just tell her the truth and give her the money and have a great day. This is the man who wanted to skip his own dad's funeral. Fair enough. And when asked about, and when told about the will, his only question was, so what about the money? So the crux of the movie is him deciding how bad of a person he's going to be. Yeah. The answer is a little, but significantly. <laughs> Frankie. Oh, oh, no, you should tell her sooner than later. Or she's going to be attracted to you because you're Chris Pine. What are you doing, half bro? <laughs> oh, that's probably gonna be a plot point later. I'm predicting this whole fucking thing. Where they fuck? That's a weird <laughs> plot point. That would be a. Uh, I don't know if he'd go that far. He wouldn't go that far, but she would probably initiate something, and that would be the turning point, like maybe the low act. Oh point. no, my hot girlfriend, and then my hot sister, fucking yeah. Chris Pine's. Character. My hot girlfriend's played by Olivia Wilde, and my sister who definitely wants to have sex with me. He's played by <laughs> Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> Chris Pine didn't make the movie, though. He did not make the movie. <laughs> he did not make the movie, though. It's not an Air Bud clause. There is a rule that says a dog can't play. And she has to know the truth, and she's going to find out that he left them all this money. Not if I don't give it to him. Yo, what? I told you. So the main character is a really, really shitty person. People like us. You hid the wallet in the car so you could avoid coming out here. <sighs> what? <laughs> what? Chris Pine? Oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, I gotta jam out my problems, bro. In my dad's old office. There's your answer to debt right there, man. Look at all those vinyls. A young working woman struggling to maintain a balance between her career and her personal life. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but I hate children in films. The best child performance in any movie is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was my favorite one. Most of the time, it's shit, though. Most of the time. Like, over 95% of the time, child acting is the worst thing about movies. And you know what else I hate? The way people write kids in films. I know. They're almost never good. They're either way too smart or just flat out not likable. You can say whatever's on your mind or nothing at all. She doesn't want to be here. Yeah, but... <laughs> He's written like an adult character. Kids don't really do this. He never cried. Oh, why do you think that was? I don't know yet. Who fucking cares? If I don't get this guy's wife enough wood to build a deck in eight hours, he's gonna report me to the FTC. What a low stakes offer. I need to get wood to this place or else they might say I don't have wood. Do you work here? <laughs> Probably only a matter of time. Ah, I see the point of the movie. He's gonna grow to be a better person because he likes the kid or something. He's gonna be a better dad to his kid. Yep, <laughs> it is not kid. Taste the music blows? I don't know, maybe. Look, this, this right here. This that's London Calling by The Clash. Yes, that's a good album. Not the best Clash album, though. But give him Combat Rock. Blew up. Part of it. The Deep End. Carol's pissed. Two shitty, terrible, unlikable characters who are kind of smart. And those are our leads. One good thing about the movie besides the unlikable leads is the soundtrack slaps. You know who else is an asshole in this? Ian Mello. But aside from him, his dad yeah. told his kid who he did not tell had a half-sister to bring this to his half-sister's kid. Why not just tell his friend? Yep, someone who knows. The executioner of the will. Yep, someone who, like, is impartial. Or maybe someone who won't be morally gray about it. Just here, she knows that uh, Jim was her dad. So, like, she'd know what it was for. Yeah, who's a who's a non-shitty character? John, F uh, no, he's shitty too. God Olivia damn Wilde. It. Olivia Wilde's it. She stood up for herself when he called her out. And she left the second the bullshit started. So, like... At the exact same point in time that his career and life goes down the shitter, his dad dies and gives the money to whatever. I mean, that happens sometimes. Right, but it's an astronomical situation where he can use that money to better his own life. Yes, but Jake, it's inspired by a true story. How the fuck? It doesn't even say so anywhere online. I'm trying to find out what it's based on. Alex Kurtzman's own life. Just Alex Kurtzman, the guy. Maybe you are lying. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Shouldn't... It's weird because, like, Pine and her have chemistry, which would be fine if I didn't know that they were half-related in the movie. No, 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 no. Look, look, I, I swear to you on my life, I am not and will never hit on you, ever. Wow, thank you. We're kind of related. But, like, if we weren't, maybe. 
I'm in a relationship right now, so. Oh, that's so great for you. What's his name? His name's Spock. So the question is, how does it get revealed? She's definitely gonna try to fuck him. Set bro. It's half bro, dude. <laughs> Alex Kurtzman used the money he stole from his half sister to make this film. That's the connection. I forgot Kurtzman made this. It's not shitty. I was 17 years old. And he was like, the king of LA. I bet he wasn't even the king of 495. We fell in love and we had two beautiful, I mean one beautiful child, you. We had one beautiful kid and then he banged the whore. <laughs> we had one beautiful kid and we also had you, Chris We had Bynes. a threesome one time and he finished <laughs> in the wrong bitch. He knew I was good. Kubo animate this, we did every position. I rode him at one point, I even pegged him. <laughs> I pegged him. <laughs> he pegged me. I'm glad he took the fedora off. It's a trilby. Yeah, the fact that you just said that makes you a virgin now. I'm sorry. Fuck you, dude. Retroactively. Sorry I know the difference between hats. I revoked the sex you've had. I've had more than you. <laughs> not anymore. What time is it? 5.43. Okay, that's not what I meant to ask. Let me ask again. Can I get a time check? Halfway, not even. God damn! You seem like a really... We should get a taco or something. Tacos. I love going to tacos for tacos. The pom pom girl will be like, this is bullshit. You show me Ah, uh, yes, more flirting scenes between siblings. I want to see this in the movie for the yeah, whole I don't time. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. It's just. It's creepy. Poorly. It's poorly executed. Is it because of the way we watch films, though, where we expect a man and a woman to fall in love, though? No, they have better chemistry than him and his girlfriend did. Yeah, the movie's clearly making them compatible in chemistry wise like they're I th think maybe it's because he's hiding the fact that they're related yeah I if think he that's had been upfront about that yeah. I could see this more as siblings bonding I agree completely but now she's gonna think that it's like he's leading her on it's the mere fact that there's information being hidden that gives the intent that creepy vibe I have no idea who my kid's dad is we had like an eight way. It's like key from uh, you ever seen Children of Men? And Chris then. Pine's like, what a coincidence! At the exact same time, I banged like ten girls in a row. Might have been you. Uh -huh. yeah, Ian, do you remember that episode of Always Sunny where they thought Dennis got D pregnant? He had a country squire, it's old station wagon, and... and a wood panel on the side. Well, he drove away to his other family. Uh, I'm his other family. Oopsies. Whoops. Whoops. All trauma. Oh. Nothing wrong with you. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, Let's hold hands. Ramping up the cringe. The sexual tension. Jake. Why is there sexual tension between siblings? <laughs> what are you doing, half bro? <laughs> <laughs> I know I've said it like eight times. What are you doing, my actual brother? Isn't Olivia Wilde just at home waiting for Chris Pine to come back? I don't know. See, now he's being like a father role. Yeah, this movie's kind of fucking weird. It's very fucking weird. It would be infinitely better if he just told her straight up, right at the beginning, we're related. Or if you're writing the movie, don't write them as She's related. falling in love with him! That's what I'm saying! That's what I knew would happen! This is the poster! The poster where they're going, haha, stock photo models, haha, life. <laughs> ah, stock fart noise! Stock sound effect. You couldn't even record a fucking fart. Come on. Out of 10, guys. What if the next scene's them fucking? Oh my sorry, god. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, it's Olivia Wilde. Hey, hey girlfriend. BRB babe staying in LA for another month. Did you tell her everything you know? Nope, I've had so many opportunities, though. I bet the second act low point is he's gonna say it and she's gonna hate him. Oh, there's still 45 minutes. But Mud, he's still wearing Converse All Stars. Hey, Josh. Hey, Luce. That girl is so caliente. I don't even know what to do with myself. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm 11. I literally don't. I don't. I, it's what sex said. I don't think I've had that yet. Well, I wonder what's under there. Literally, I have no idea. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> Please tell me what is under there. I don't want his his dead bribe money. Sweet. Now I can keep it without any guilt. <laughs> Bye. Look at his face. He's like, oh my god, I get the money. He's like, oh no, smiling. Wow, that sucks. Haha. -ha. I don't know. Why do you I, have these weirdly long pauses I, when I, I ask I you I bought questions? you, I bought you- Because it's in the script, Elizabeth. There are ellipses, which means my character pauses. He's still not gonna fucking tell her. How is this even going on this long? Is she ever gonna realize? She's what literally the ending him? shot of the movie. I'm your brother, and then it just hard <laughs> cuts to credits. They're in cuts. bed together naked. <laughs> <laughs> Directed by Alex Kurtzman. Say it! I am your brother. Oh my god, he didn't say it. Man, I sure wish I didn't have all these problems that I directly caused. Oh, she has a... 
She has a brain. She does have a brain. Mom, what were you going to tell me about brain? Wow, someone kept a secret from Chris Pine? Boy, does that <laughs> suck. That sure must be difficult for How him. could you keep a secret from me? I'm your son. <laughs> it's like that one time James Bond got sexually assaulted. No one actually tells anyone what's, what's, what's really happening. What the fuck have you been doing or both of them? She has a son. She's an ex-addict and we met at AA. <sighs> Trifecta AA. And she's Jerry's daughter. You're banging your half sister? Wait, play the Pornhub intro. Bum, bum, da, bum, bum, Pornhub bum, community. Bum. He hit $150,000 and gave me instructions to give it to her. He's gonna go to Elizabeth Banks at the end of the movie and be like, listen, your dad left you $5,000. Here you go. Your dad left you $53 and a pack of bubble gum. So the worst part is, that was a really good scene. Yep. Like, really well acted and like a big good plot twist where he was like, how am I gonna tell my mom? Finds out she already knew. And she's kind of the bad guy. Yeah. But he's still the bad guy. Yeah. Because he hasn't said anything. But he's else. still not a good person. Yeah, it doesn't feel like an earned good scene. You but know what I mean? It, it, you're right, but it still is a good scene. It still so there, is. There are good scenes in here. Yeah. The script but is fuck. fundamentally flawed. But we're spending way too much time with Frankie falling in love with her half brother. Seriously, if he had been up front with her from the beginning and like they just bonded over their shitty childhoods and he finally was like, you know what? I need to talk to my mom about this because this isn't right. And then he finds out what a bombshell scene. Josh broke a kid's nose and the, and the parents are going to press charges. Yeah, I'm headed to Sure could use 150 grand. Oh, well, sure wish I had it. Sure wish I knew anything else. Josh. How did he get there faster than her? He has Roger Moore's teleportation device. Just tell her, oh my... No, this is the scene. God. This has to be the scene. Oh, oh, thank God. I thought she was going in for a kiss. She's about to. She's who, about to. Who Dude, knows? Red alert. Oh, red no. Alert. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> do not pass go. Do not collect $200. I've heard everything. I'm scared, too. <laughs> you are not as scared. You are not as scared as me. I don't want to do this. Is he going to keep up the lie by fucking her? <laughs> I've been like, joking about that. The movie's gonna end with so them in scared. bed together. He is so scared of telling the truth that he will sleep with his sister to just to get out of it. Oh, he told her. I wanted to tell you. I should have told her. You wanted to tell her. Fuck you, Chris Pine. You had every opportunity. Get out. Good reaction. You didn't hurt him enough. Hurt him more. Stop resisting. Leave the house. Yes. Yes. Bash him through multiple objects, please. Ah, the consequences of my own actions. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the audience supposed to sympathize with Chris Pine? Well, his mom's dying, so you're supposed to feel bad for him. Okay, aside from this element, I don't understand how he's accessible at all. He's not. <laughs> yeah, he's the main character. Sweetie, you look like all kinds of shit. Yeah, well, I almost just had sex with my ass. <laughs> he, I, I believe that in that scene he considered it to get out of telling her the truth. He, he beat around the bush a bit. Yeah. He waited too long. He weighed his options. I knew you'd turn out to be a halfway decent guy. He's not halfway decent. He's done th one redeemable thing all movie. I made him choose, and he chose us. So in the afterlife, he chose her. A oh, final fuck you. So why did the lawyer go to the dad's son to bring the money? I think that's what the dad wanted. Like, hey, this is your responsibility. The dad gave it to the attorney in order to tell the attorney to go to his son to tell him about... The sister they didn't know he had. Yes. Even though the attorney didn't know. I think it's because he wanted them to meet. Right, but that's a recipe for failure. You know what I mean? Like, why wouldn't you just at least convey in the note, Hey, son, you have a sister. Like, the attorney didn't even know. Unless he did and didn't tell him, which is worse. I hope you never have to know what it's like to love someone and then find out you're not enough. Oh, you mean like my half-sister who loved me and found out she couldn't because I'm her brother. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The thing is, like, like Mud was saying, this would be a really powerful emotional scene had the movie prior built to this point correctly. It I almost think the did. one problem I have with this movie is if he had just been upfront and honest with yep. Frankie at the very beginning, yep. and the film had been about these two half-siblings finally meeting and coming together and reconciling the fact that they both had shitty childhoods for different reasons mm -hmm. and learning to live with what happened to them Yep. through, you know, shared trauma, basically. What really, really sucks is that the movie is exactly what you're saying, except that he does not tell her and it gets really weird and creepy. Like, you and there's know, no reason to not tell her. What either. would have been amazing no, is reason. if 
we find out that his dad loved Frankie more and took it out on Sam because he resented the fact that the mom made him choose and he chose the one he was married to and not yep. the one he had the affair with. That would have been tremendous. That would have been like, there's so many layers to that. Yep. Of like, Frankie's the reason that Sam had a bad childhood and Frankie doesn't even know it. But Sam's the reason Frankie had a bad childhood mm -hmm. and neither of them were happy. Like It's like a biplane carrying an anchor. Like, it'll gain a little bit of flight and go a little far, but it keeps getting weighed down to the fucking ground by this glaring problem that it won't get rid of. <laughs> that, that thing is... It's like, oh, why is the plot of the movie not the things we're saying? Ha ha, they have to fall in love, but not really. <laughs> like, studio executives are overriding Alex Kurtzman's creative ideas, and Alex Kurtzman goes with it. When does that happen? Do you guys have phone books? No. No. We did when I was a kid. Everyone did when they were a kid. Who are you? I'm Josh. Technically, they're not related. They're just... There's not even a marriage. Well, kind of. Because if, if the father has a bastard kid, and that bastard... I guess it's... What are they? Step-grandma? My grandfather's wife. Because my dad's wife is my stepmom. I guess it would be step-grandma. Yeah. Frankie, please just let me tell you this. Let me show you something. It's my wiener. You wanted to see it earlier. I am your brother. What the fuck was that? I was killing the, the bug on Jake's floor real quick. Uh, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Paint over it. Take care of them. Not in bed, though. P.S. Don't fuck your half-sister. <laughs> Is it them at the park together? I think so. Uh, them as kids playing in the park together. His father used to take him to the park. His mother used to take her on the picnics that they used to go on at the same park. So they did have a childhood together. Oh, in the same place at different points in time. Oh, wait. They same point in time. Oh, hell yeah. Again, this could have been a really powerful scene. There's there's a lot of good in this movie. Yep, there's so much. The working is here for like an eight or a nine, but it is neither of those numbers. It is not. It is not. And I'm feeling like we're about to hit Direct a by wall Alice of credits. Direct out of ten. Alice Alex Kurtzman. Say, say Alex Kurtzman. You say it, you son of a bitch. Here we go. You son of a bitch. You son of there a bitch. It Directed is. by Alex Kurtzman. Oh. All right. Out of ten. You don't go first, Jacob. Three writers. That's that good of a script. You need three fucking people for it. That's I want to say half of the movie is achieving what this movie could but do. But there are yep. just so many glaring issues. So dumb. And I think it's it's not well written. No, enough. It's, the first half is very poorly written. Almost every scene with Chris Pine's character, we were like, what the fuck? Yeah, yep. he's not a good dude, like at all. Chris Pine, the actor, is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But his character is horrible. Yeah, his character is really, really, really awful. Um, the thing with Olivia Wilde really never gets Stuff in this movie finished. just disappears for a while. I'm going to take the character thing further. I think almost every single character is brash and unlikable and shitty to everyone else around them. Yeah. I Honestly, like all these characters in this script are terrible, terrible people. And the movie is called People Like Us. No one likes them. Zero it's people. True. There's also no people like them. Who yeah. would act like this? I know the kids. Well, no sane people act like this. No rational person. There is would no act people the way like that child yeah. at that age. Like that's no. ridiculous. He was speaking like an adult. Like here are my adult lines for a yep. kid. That's what I was meaning about the writing too. Is that that's not a child. He was really annoying. Like every lie to you, I was just like shut the up. The only thing that the kid did that a kid would do <laughs> was fart annoyingly with a stock sound effect. Stock. Fart sound effect. Like, oh boy, great. Oh, I forgot that. That felt like so long Funny ago. Funny movie. Haha. <laughs> like, the movie was written in a way that's like, well, they're, now they're going to almost sex. And then, like, but that's not what it should have been. That's not a good thing to have yeah. in your movie. I'm going to give this movie a five, bordering on six. Mud. I don't hate it. There's really good acting. There's some really good scenes. But, like, holy fuck. Fuck the story. Mud, I think you just took the words directly out of my mouth. I think a five, uh, my second five of the day, fun fact, because I just don't think this movie does the good stuff good enough. Do I want to give it a six is where I am right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's also undercut by the fact that all the good stuff is directly tied to this weird incesty fucking I sexual know. tension gross i know oh man. that did not need to be you there. are swaying me down to your scores i'm gonna say five five's across the board sway it was just that's what the the film so was. let me ask you this 
What are the best and worst Alex Kurtzman movies? The it's, best it's one is People best. Like Us. The worst <laughs> one's The Mummy. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Amazing Spider-Man is also really fucking No, bad. Mummy's a fresh zero, dog. They're both zeros. What do you mean? Amazing Spider-Man 2 is also a zero. No, there's good shit in Amazing 2. Mm, there's no. good shit at all in that movie, yes. They're both. I think Oh, you haven't both. seen the movie. Yeah. I think they're both, though. Um, um, in any uh-huh. case, uh, yeah, this is easily the best one, unfortunately. This man. Yeah, imagine your best movie being a mid. Well, if we're counting stuff that he's written, didn't he write the Star Trek 2009? Fair. I think he also wrote the Watchmen movie. I mean, Shane Black no, also, I don't think he had a hand Black in that. also write... The what? Lethal uh, Weapon film. Lethal Weapon? And Lethal Squad. Weapon originally... I haven't seen Lethal Weapon is the thing. Yeah, Lethal he wrote Star good. Trek. If we're counting stuff he's written, he wrote Star Trek 2009. So that's my answer for his best film. <laughs> if we're talking like directed, I think. Oh yeah, he did write. He has an uncredited write, writing credit on Watchmen. So wait, he's only directed this and The Mummy? Yeah, So he's like it. 0 for 2? <laughs> he's kind of 0 for 2. <laughs> Me with my good movies, Mummy. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking mid and then Garbage. Oh man, I would take this a hundred times over the Mummy twenty seven. That's because the Mummy's longer and worse. <laughs> so I guess if the question is, is he a good director? No, no. Yeah, no. no the answer, the question is. The answered. question is, if he's a good writer, I'd also say no. I'd say not really. No, no. I, mean, I will. I will say not really. Because Star Trek two thousand nine is not a perfect movie. So. No, not at and all. And also, looking through his like writing credits, it's the exception, not the rule. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think he was like. A- you can definitely write. A good movie and then keep making garbage. Plus, we don't know how much he wrote of Star Trek 2009. That's true. Or so. Watchmen, because he only had an uncredited write, which yep. means he wrote less than 30%? Something yeah. like that, yes. Less than 30, I think, is for directing. But okay. I don't I know see. the writing rules. No, I don't know the writing rules either. I The directing rules because of the um the Snyder, Snyder cut thing. Whedon. Yep. yep. Even though Whedon changed more than 30%. <laughs> oh, we will find out. That's not relevant. He changed so much. With all that out of the way, Ian. Oh, I don't want to recommend my movie because you guys are going to shit on the whole thing. Fuck. It's um, a terrible movie. No, it's not a terrible Ian, movie. Uh, the other day, Ian and I were hanging out and he said that he needs to recommend more bad movies. Oh, no. Yeah, but this one's good. No, this one's good. I you promise. You can't say that we're going to shit on it and then tell us it's good. Well, I like it. So oh, no. we're watching a movie that I like. No. And it's it's more from my childhood it's than anything. Um, I, I really wanted to watch this because I was talking about it the other day. And I'm like, man, is this movie on Netflix? I want to watch this movie. And I don't know if it was because I didn't fucking check because I was like, oh, no, I'm going to recommend it instead. So do you guys know Saturday Night Live? Yeah. So I know what this who's is. The longest, who's the longest running guy on Saturday Night Live? Keenan Thompson. Yeah. We're and he, he used to do, oh, I know used to do I know a lot is. of different stuff. Fuck. So we're going to be watching Keenan Thompson's hit film with his best buddy, Kel. Uh, Good Burger. Burger. Yeah. I want to watch Good Burger, damn it. 